Welcome back to my new video. I am Boris from Rambo RCNL and in this video I will show you how to waterproof a receiver. All of my RC cars are equipped with a watertight receiver box. I have seen that receiver box from the inside and the outside. I know how it works. There's a really small rubber seal and some neoprene foam to keep the water out. To make it extra waterproof you can put some marine grease on the seals but I don't trust it for the full 100% because if water gets in and my receiver gets wet then it breaks down and that is why I want to waterproof my receiver and for that you need a couple of things you need some contact spray to degrease and clean the circuit board you will need some hot glue and a glue gun to isolate the circuit board and to open the receiver up I use a small tool so that I can pry open the housing. And that's about all you need to make it waterproof. To test it out if it all works, I have this small setup. And in this example, I will waterproof a 5 channel Traxxas receiver. Turn it on. The dual channel 1 works, motor works, channel 3 works for the lighting, channel 4 also works, channel 5 also works. To open it up, you will have to press on the side to disconnect the top and the bottom housing from each other. Remove the sticker from the side. Now let's start with degreasing it. Now I will give it some time to dry up. When it is dried up, I will put some glue on it. You need to keep in mind that if you waterproof your receiver, like I do in this video, then you will lose warranty on it. That is why I do it on an older model of my Traxxas receivers that I have, because I know for sure that I don't have warranty on this receiver anymore. Then I use my fingers to press down and wipe out the excess of glue. In order to do that without the glue sticking to your fingers, you have to make your fingers wet with saliva. It doesn't work with water, with soap I don't know, I haven't tried, but when you put your finger in your mouth, you can really easily, without the glue sticking to your finger, smear the glue out and press it in position or take away the excess of glue. Then you also need to keep in mind that the button for connecting your receiver with your transmitter is also going to be covered in glue. It will probably not function anymore or you have to press it really hard. And that is why I connected my receiver to my transmitter before I started making this video. So the receiver is completely covered in glue. Now let's put it back in its housing. <laughs> And on the side note, um, be careful working with hot glue because I burn my thumb pretty bad. So let's see if I can squeeze it back in here. I cannot squeeze it with this thumb because it hurts. Well, the antenna alignment is not correct anymore. So it's about half a centimeter off. So I'm going to cut a little bit in this housing so it will fit. It is a little bit of a tight fit, but the housing is closed, but it is real tight. Now let's see if it works without getting wet. It all works. Now let's see what happens when I put some water in there.
That works fine. No problems there. And that is how you waterproof your receiver. If you like my video, leave a like. If you enjoyed my video or you want to see more videos, check out my channel. For next weekend, I will make a video about brushed motors. This is it for today. Bye bye.